He's got, and his books have really just given him such a direction. I was going to say, it feels like fired him you up. Know. I think those things like give him an extra four, five, ten years and boom, oh, yeah. you know, just kind of. They do. Makes him more ready. He's, really, he's just he's sharp as could fired be. Fired up. Yeah. Fired yeah. up. That's good. No, he's been good. How is Nashville? <clears throat> well? Yeah. Not as cold as here today, yeah. I've been on the road. All right. All right, Michael, you know I love your butt. <laughs> you finally got that Spartacus hairdo in here. Right. That Spartacus is hair. It is, isn't it? Mm hmm. Well, it worked better for falling down, though. Looked, I remember Spartacus. That was the one thing I thought was uh, was strange looking in Spartacus. But I guess it was. I'll have to talk to the uh, hairdresser about it. You're a uh, flat top. Your dad was recently on the show, and and you don't look like your father now. As he's a little older, but we were going back and showing pictures. And I mean, and you're the only brother really that looks. I mean, it's frightening. Yeah. And yeah. when you put the glasses on, I, there was a Kirk Douglas movie that I can't think of that he wore some glasses like that in the fifties. And uh, you, you're Kirk. Yeah. Is that bad? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't think I can be Kirk. There's nobody who's Kirk. Kirk is uh, is Kirk, and I'm extraordinarily, you know, proud of him. And he's one of a kind, uh, extremely uh, unique uh, and great. Uh, but you know, when when you when you got a father, uh, there's going to be a resemblance. Absolutely. But you know, Eric doesn't really look like him that much, and, and Joel. I don't Eric looks. A, Eric has a lot of resemblance to him. Peter does. I mean, there's certain things. Uh, Peter's got the mm -hmm. the dimple. We were wondering at the show. Would you ever, uh, you know, the book, the several books. Would you ever play your father if there was a movie about him? Would that be something you'd consider or not? I don't think so. We've talked about trying to do a movie together. We'd love to do a father and son. Uh, we'd love to do a father and son picture together. Um, that'd be great. We just have actually been looking for one for a long time, just haven't seen one. Now this movie here, it's definitely a conscious removal from your other roles. I mean, you used to be in the hero, the good guy, the mostly perfect person in a film. Some flaws, but mostly the heroic kind of character. Uh, I don't character. think so. I mean, if, if you look back, well, basically I'd like, think was not I'd totally like to heroic. play a hero, actually, but I haven't played a hero in a long time. When you, Shining Through was a hero. That was as close as we come, but uh, certainly War of the Roses or mm -hmm. Fatal Attraction or Wall Street. But I mean, I'd love to, I'm looking for, I, I don't mean to, you yeah. know, because I'd like to play a hero. But they're tough to find these days, aren't they? We don't have many heroes. Well, this guy is, uh, he's, he's an everyman in such a way that, you know, people, he's, he's the guy that most people don't become, but probably a lot of people are this close to right. being in a defense. Scary. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people um, who have anger uh, and don't know how to direct it, particularly if you're out of work or if you're, you know, one check away from being out of work or being on the streets. And, um, you know, defense used to work in a defense, you know, contract. It was a defense contractor in Southern California, you know, and with the end of the Cold War, we don't have any need. And this is a guy who believed in defending America and supporting it and did his job well and you know what he's out of a job <laughs> he did it so well and he's angry uh, I think there's a lot of people who feel that and in this script falling down we kind of follow his um, path through uh, an urban situation in Los Angeles and and show some of the dark comedy and the humor uh, that exists in, uh, in that kind of situation yeah there are some guilty pleasure laughs Right. In this film, for sure. Uh, I particularly like the scene of the golfers, but that's a whole other thing. You're going to die with your hat yeah. on, you know. Because, right. you know, when you start looking at society that way, we are kind of goofy. Yeah. No, there's, I think a lot of people are get a vicarious enjoyment out of, as you say, they're on, the, on that edge like defense. And to see someone who steps over and says and does the things that he does uh, gives them a vicarious thrill. But again, it's one of those characters where you don't know to root whether you should root for him uh, or not. But I loved it. It was the best script um, I've been involved with for a long time. A really good part. Robert Duvall, you know, is just one of the great actors. A guy I really, really adore. Barbara Hershey, I think, is one of the most underused, you know, fine actresses around. Unfortunately, you didn't get to act with any of them. No, I know. <laughs> it's one of those, those movies brief, that you're in with these exactly. people, but you never saw them. Yeah, except in the end, the kind of separate kind of apparel stories back and forth. And then Joel Schumacher, our director, we did Flatliners uh, together, and um, so I've known him for a long time. So it was great. It was nice to be able to have a, a good role like this. What kind of guy are you when you're making a film? I mean, uh, to kind of, if you're in a, in a character that's rather directed like this man, are you pretty much that way all the time, or you just cut it on like a light? 
Um, I don't want to cut on like a light, but I do know I'm, I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm pretty focused, pretty concentrated. I don't generally uh, see a lot that's going on um, um, around me. You get kind of a sense of the rhythm of, of when you're called or when you're needed. You kind of know how to pace yourself. Uh, I used to stay in it all the time earlier in my career. Now I know it exhausts you. You can't do that. Um, I like to step out and, and once you kind of once you got the character down, your first couple of weeks are usually harder as you begin to hone them once you kind of got it. Uh, falling down was great because you had like you know each scene was like a, had a beginning, a middle and an end. You'd walk into one environment and you'd do it and then and then get out. And, uh, and it's easier when it's good. Like falling down, the material is good, when the actors are good, uh, it just makes it a lot easier. You're not, you don't have to try as hard because it's right there on your plate. When you're doing the last scene, the last shot, the last scene of a character, is it kind of like, what is it like to say goodbye to somebody you've been with? It's like a friend almost, isn't it, after a while? Well, obviously it depends upon yeah. the situation <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on the movie. Um, fortu I'm fortunate that, uh, you know, I can't remember other when I was producing movies that I was, you know, could wish it to be over. But yeah, you, it's saying goodbye to a character, it's saying goodbye to a life, an environment. It's, um, it's a strange gypsy life, there's an intimacy, uh, there's a strange balance of professionalism that you come together, a group of you come mm -hmm. together, and that you bear your souls, you show your vulnerabilities, uh, and then at the end of the day you walk away. Uh, but you will always be kindred spirits people you work with. When you've done a movie together with somebody, it's a bond It makes you part of a family. I know I was reading where Basic Instinct is now worldwide $360 million. Is that surprise you? Yeah, it did actually. It surprised me the foreign, as successful as it was in, in this country. Um, I was I was amazed at how big it did over there. Although I, you know, I thought all the controversy sort of, sh you know, sh uh, shaded the fact. It was a very well-made movie. I never thought the director Paul Verhoeven got the credit for a really, you know, it was a very well structured, very well made picture. And I think Europe and foreign really appreciated that because it did twice the business uh, mm -hmm. foreign that it did here in this country. Yeah, quite a, quite a big movie though. Yeah. Nice seeing you again. Good seeing you again. Hope and, uh, get down to Nashville soon. Please do. Thank okay. you. Okay.